What in the actual wiener is wrong with Thane? He isn't even the same person anymore. Plus, for some reason, he's forcing me to play all these old games. Fear the expansions? God, do I really want to play more of this series? The last two really pooped in my Cheerios. You know what? I'll just go get Cole and we will run away. Cole! Cole, what happened to you? We need to get out of here now! Thane's coming! Cole, please wake up! He's gonna kill me! What the hell are you doing? Trying to run away from you, you psycho! And what'd you do to Cole? Huh. He did that to himself. I guess he didn't play in a Forza. You take that back! That is one of his favorite games! Eat my balls. What is wrong with you and why are you turning into a monster? I'm not a monster. You're just a bitch. In fact, you're my bitch. So get to it right now, bitch! The Fear series. What a weird experience it has been for me. The best way for me to describe this series is probably like the Titanic, an awesome epic ride that baits you with its praise, but then quickly ends in the saddest way possible. I played through Fear 1, 2, and 3. 1 is great, and still my favorite, and 2 and 3 are bad. If you want to see my full thoughts on the games, you can click the link in the description that takes you to the Fear playlist that we have on our channel. I really enjoyed the first Fear game, and really all I wanted was more of that out of 2 and 3, but I didn't even get close to the same experience. Yes, I skipped the Fear expansions, but now I'm finally getting around to playing them. And holy schmitty Werben Jaegerman Jensen, what an experience I had. And it wasn't great. Fear Extraction Point is the first expansion by TimeGate Studios and published by Vivendi and Warner Bros. Fear has changed lots of hands, so these aren't the same devs that made the original Fear game. This one takes place right after Fear 1 when your helicopter crashes. You play as Point Man again too. Also in my Fear 3 video, I asked who the hell this girl was. Yeah, she's from the first game. <laughs> I'm an idiot. These are your two companions, Jen and Sergeant Johnson. The entire fear narrative for me is kind of a big trash fire. Basically, Alma Wade, your mom, was tested on by her dad because she has great psychic powers. She had two kids, Point Man and Paxton Fettel, the other bad guy who controls these super soldiers that you fight the whole time. You blow up the facility at the end of the first game and that's where this one starts. You are trying to get to an extraction point, hence the name. Fear is praised for its combat and AI. Yeah, I agree, it's a ton of fun getting in firefights with replica soldiers and using different guns and methods to fight. Most of the guns are back, plus the Akimbo pistols. Akimbo in any game is usually great. They also added a minigun and a laser rifle. I still hate the grenades though. They bounce really easily and explode on contact, but for some reason it just was really hard for me to use them. I don't know, something about throwing grenades in this game just feels off. The level design was pretty fun and complemented the combat and horror elements. Slow motion is back and is a fun time as always. Punching and jump kicking are great too and very over the top. You can find health and slow mo upgrades as well as med kits for healing. One thing that I noticed because it wasn't there and it just shows how spoiled I am with modern shooters is no reload or grenade near you indicators. I would run into fights with almost no ammo and get caught with my pecker out trying to reload in front of them. Yes, I know my ammo is displayed on the screen. I guess I just didn't realize how much I relied on indicators. The AI is great. They make callouts, they interact with the environment to create cover and try to flank you. The combat all around is extremely enjoyable. The sound design was rough and good at points. The game would be super loud and not mixed properly, and other times it sounded very immersive to the point where bullet casings make different noises depending on what material they landed on. Difficulty was rough for me. The low difficulty was too easy, but on moderate difficulty, enemies would melt me in seconds. Yeah, I know, I probably just suck. The horror aspects I thought were great, definitely caught me off guard sometimes, and the creepiness overall was captured. How did they do it? Well, the lighting was a big part. The way that they go about lighting areas with a rechargeable flashlight really adds to the game being scary. You'd be surprised how far a dark room and a flashlight goes and how creepy that can be. There are times you feel helpless because darkness, if you didn't know, is scary. If I can't see, I ain't comfortable. I probably would have really benefited from playing the Fear expansions right after the first Fear game, but that being said, I liked them that much more because 2 and 3 were trash fires. Once again, it's got that old game charm that's really hard for me to explain, but I just really liked. That being said, my entire experience was completely soured because of how much trouble I had running this game. It didn't have a full screen option, so I played in 1280. The subtitles are tiny, and worst of all, I kept getting this out of memory issue. I had to change some settings with my RAM, and that fixed it temporarily, but then I kept getting disconnected from server issues. What the hell? I'm not even playing online, it's a single player campaign! 
To fix this, you have to lower all of your graphics settings to minimum, start the game up, and then raise your graphics back up. Mind you, this happened almost every time I hit a new loading zone. It was such a pain in the ass, and frankly for me wasn't really worth the hassle. Shout out to the Steam Community tab though for helping me with this one. I spent a couple hours trying to fix this issue and couldn't have done it without the community, so thank you. The ending for this one is just downright depressing. Spoiler alert, everyone dies and the city is in ruins and you are alone with Fettel. This all gets retconned anyway, but for me this is the canon ending for fear, because everything else past this is one giant big dog turd. Moving on to Perseus Mandate, you copy and paste everything previous but bad in all the worst ways. They added bullet sponge enemies, the level design was lackluster, there's weird plot holes, you play as a new character who has the same power-ups for some reason, the combat was enjoyable at times and putrid in others. It had some cool moments though, running from the mech, this car landing on this dude was kind of cool. Overall, it wasn't great. It felt rushed, they cut corners, and just wanted more V-Bucks from all of us. Also, the grenade launcher was dumb and broken with a weird bassy sound effect when shot. I hated fighting the Agent Smith guys who can dodge bullets. I don't understand why devs equate shooting more bullets into enemies as raising the difficulty. It's more monotonous and time wasting if anything. To top it all off, the game still ran like shite giving me the same bowl disconnected from the server. Sometimes my graphics wouldn't revert back either so I just played on potato graphics. Obviously if I knew more about computers or played on older hardware and software I probably wouldn't have had as much trouble because when the games did work I had a lot of fun but all the dumpsters I had to jump into to get to that point really hindered my experience. Yeah Fear 2 and 3 sucked but at least I could run them with no issues. I will say that Extraction Point was great and would have been even better if I didn't have any issues running it. Perseus Mandate was poopy and still ran bad. But that being said I still think I enjoyed this bad expansion over 2 and 3. I think the biggest takeaway from this experience is that old games don't run great on new hardware and software. So the lesson learned, don't play old games. There, I finished all the fear games. Now will you please bring Cole back so we can get the hell out of here? I'm not done with you. I'll never be done with you. Well, I'm done with you! Words mean nothing to me. And frankly, we're just getting started with this review business. And also, I'm monetizing every single piece of content that you put out, and you're getting Zero percent of the profits. You sick bastard. Do we at least get a lot of views? It depends on what you consider a ton of views. You sick bastard. <laughs> <laughs>